first question that comes to my mind is what is light after dealing with light then only we can reflect or refract or whatsoever phenomena that we'll deal after knowing light so let us first deal with what is light light as we know light is a source of energy that gives the sense of visibility when falls on an object means you can find the thing light is a source of energy which gives the sense of visibility well on an object one thing is fine source of energy sense of visibility our eye reflects light and gives the sense of visibility whatsoever light we re receive our eye receive from the object that object is visibly visible one thing is clear second thing in a different way we can define light as it is an electromagnetic wave transverse wave which does not require any medium to travel or to propagate it is right propagate electromagnetic transverse wave this is the basic fundamental it does not require any medium these two things are very very basic in nature that we will see later that due to this only it is a transverse wave electromagnetic wave will be dealt in class 12 so i am just taking the name is keeping the basic fundamental of electromagnetic wave this way now Have you all understood? I think. Or should I proceed? Yeah. Thank you. What we can do? Let us not deal with. Reflection of light. The same way. each and every sort of definition is required if we want of light reflection of light first thing that comes is what is reflection what do you understand by the word reflection when a ball falls on the floor it reflects back it reflects back that is the thing the bouncing back of any object after falling 
on the surface. Is called the reflection. If we go for the light, we'll deal with it. the reflection of light. The reflection of light means when a ray of light. falls on a polished surface it bounces back in the same medium the phenomenon of of bouncing back of the ray of light is called reflection of light is called the reflection of light. The same way we can understand the thing. You see here. This is suppose a plane mirror. This is the silvered part of the mirror. This is normal to the mirror. When a ray of light is incident, it bounces back. This way. It bounces back this way. Now, this is called the incident ray this is a reflected ray and this is normal. What you see is, this angle is I and this angle is R and this point O is called the point of incidence. I think this concept is clear to you. Incident ray of light falls on the mirror surface that is the polished surface at point O. This is called the point of incidence. After falling, it reflects in the same medium with the reflected ray. It is normal, O, N, you can see. Now, angle from the normal to the incident ray, from the normal to the incident ray, is called angle of incidence. And angle from the normal to the reflected ray is called the angle of reflection. Okay, fine.